In this session, we're going to look at backlighting. So that is anything where the light is behind you within your image. So have a look at this image. You'll notice the light is at the very back of the frame. So now this is in the center. So if you think about the rule of thirds, we've placed this one in the center of our space. So this isn't my image. This is an image I've taken offline to highlight backlight for you. Later on in this session, I'll give you an example of some of the images that I've taken that use backlighting. So as you can see, the lighting is spreading out in four areas. So we've got that whole spread there and the areas I'm highlighting now are all in shadow. So it gives you this vignette type of look. So a vignette is where the edges of your frame kind of fade out to darkness. So this creates a really interesting dramatic effect and it absolutely draws your eye in here. So if you look through the light, you'll see a little tunnel. That's when this backlighting is used really, really well. It also creates a really interesting sense of depth. So you get to see all of this depth within here. So you're looking down and you'll notice the footsteps in the snow and all those wonderful things that this image contains. And actually it's a really simple setup. So this is a really good example of how you can use backlighting to enhance your image or enhance a scene. Also, you'll notice it's really overexposed and underexposed and that's fine because that's the whole approach we're going for here. Okay, have a go. Try different backlighting techniques while you're using your photography and I'll see you in the next session. For this image, I'm using the Moment app. I'm just going to switch that to photography there and then I'm going to use the 58 millimeter tele lens. So remember I discussed about the equipment I'm using earlier in this session. You don't need to use this equipment. You can use a moment app without a lens on. So I'm just going to play with these settings here. So I'm just adjusting the shutter speed so you can see what that does in real time. So I want to create something around there. Right now I'm just going to play with my ISO here. So I'm just adjusting the ISO. Let's go over to the exposure. And again, I'm just using my finger to slide up and down just to get a nice exposure image that I like. I'm just playing with the focus, so that's focus on the background. So there we go, focus on the foreground. So remember, if you've got backlighting, you, know, you will lose detail in your image. Let's have a look at the white balance. So this is daylight, so I'm gonna go for about 5,004, 5,500 Kelvin. Oh, there we go, five, six, there we go. And let's take the image. Here is the unedited image. I don't know about you, but I really like it. Later on in this course, I'm going to show you how to edit images on your smartphone anyway. So keep the image that you've just taken and we'll look at editing that later. Let's move on to a different scene with a different type of backlight. In this example, we can see that the light is clearly visible and that will happen if you're using backlight. So your light will always be visible. So it's about making it into a feature. Again, this is unedited and this is taken on my standard smartphone camera. So there's no additional lenses or anything added here. This is the same image, but this is taken with the Moment app and the 58 millimeter telecine lens. And you'll notice it's a little bit closer, but actually there's very little difference. In fact, you get a little bit more light leak. I personally prefer the standard phone lens without using the additional accessories on this style of photography. But again, have an experiment, have a play, see what you can come up with.